Power BI dashboards, interactive dashboards, real-time data analysis. You might have heard or seen those great visuals and uh, uh, interactive real-time data and dashboards. But the question is how you can create those dashboards. Uh, do you need to be really an Excel savvy to be able to generate those fancy interactive dashboards that Power BI enables you to do so? I have a special guest, Jean Carlo, who is an expert on Power BI to answer this question. Jean Carlo, what do you think about this? Hello, everyone. And I think definitely not. You don't need to be an Excel savvy or, or you don't need to learn kind of programming language or coding to, to get your hands on Power BI. I think Power BI has a, is offering such a is of use that anyone can start leveraging on the benefits and features they uh, it has for tool. And I think that if I go and share you really quick, just to get a, a grasp of what is that design experience you are gonna um, uh, you, uh, you're gonna kind of interact with, uh, you can have really a really good understanding of what, what we are talking about. This is an example of that kind of that the output you can get uh, with Power BI where I just connected my data source that is a uh, georeference data for the, the boreholes we were doing in this project. And we can show that on a map in a really, really easy way. If I want to, you might say, okay, JC, but that seems really difficult to, to kind of to put in place how you can kind of showcase that the different boreholes locations on a map that seems very difficult, but if I just remove this uh, this visual, for example, uh, I want to start it all over again. So this is the, the simplest way you, you can experiment this. So what I'm gonna do basically is I'm just gonna go for he over here where I'm gonna find my map visual in Power BI. So it's all ready for you to use guys. So if I open this visual, I will get this box and then I just need to populate that box with the information that is coming from my um, data source I've connected. In this case, I just need to have latitude and longitude and that will make the trick for myself. That will locate the exact coordinates on the map and will show you the output. And it may seem like, okay, there is nothing behind that JC, but that's because the way you have set it up, the, that visual by default, that is just a, a map showing the roads. So if I just uh, scroll out, zoom out, you will find the different map, uh, the visual itself. But if I want to get something more like uh, Earth uh, Google, Google Earth, then I will just need to change the format and we'll go here to map styles and I say, now I want to see an aerial a view of the map. And then you can have exactly the same solution, the exactly same output over here. So that is the design experience you can get of, uh, with Power BI as easy as that, guys. We are populating our coordinates over a map with kind of three clicks uh, on our screen. And that's how things should be. Uh, don't you think? So that's it. that is the, the, the advice I have for you guys. You don't need to be an Excel savvy. You don't need to know coding. It's just as easy as drag and drop. Obviously, you, you do need to know uh, how your data set, your data source is structured. And just uh, starting from there, you know what columns, what rows it has. Then you know what to drag, what to drop. And you will get this amazing result that you can see on your screen. Are you kidding me, Jean Carlo? That was amazing what you just showed us in a couple of minutes, in less than a minute, how to create that interactive map. Oh my God, unbelievable. So just a drag and drop. You don't need to be an Excel savvy to be able to generate that dashboards. Am I right? Exactly. Wow, and you can customize those dashboards the way that you want or your client wants, right? So they're all customizable the way that you want to do that, right? 
as you saw when I was uh, kind of performing this, if you want to see the roads and the maps, like when, when you use Google Maps, then you, you can define the visual to show in a particular way. But then if you want to see like a Google Earth and you want to see kind of the houses and other stuff, you just need to, to select from the, from the default uh, feature it has and you just switch like instantly. Wow. So that's kind of the, the way you want to things to work rather than start trying to code up something just to make it look nice and very custom to your needs. No, we want to have the option. We want to leverage on them. And we just want to use ready in readiness for, for our project uh, delivery. And even for our graphs, different type of graphs, different type of visuals, all of them, it just drag and drop, right? Drag and drop, exactly. Oh you, my goodness, when, that's when amazing. Move, when, when, <laughs> wow, when I'm just blown forward. away by just watching what you have done right now because that's always comes up when we are talking about Power BI. Okay, great visuals, but I'm not good at Excel. Can I do this? And what you just showed us, it just amazes me. No matter if you are good at Excel or not, you can create impressive dashboards. And if you want to learn the step-by-step -step how, uh, Jim Carl and I, uh, the good news, is we have collaborated at Project Control Academy and developed a step-by-step -step guide for you on Power BI Visual Data Analytics for project controls. So if you're in project controls and would like to use Power BI to generate those amazing dashboards at a click of a button, join us in this training. The link is on this video or on the video description. So make sure you check it out and join us. That was amazing. Thank you again, Giancarlo. Thank you.